This problem states that to qualify for the police academy, candidates must score in the top 2% in the general abilities test. The mean and standard deviation are given as 300 and 15 respectively. We are asked what the lowest score is that a candidate can achieve and still qualify for the police academy. We're also told that the distribution is normal and that our answer should be rounded up to the nearest whole number. One of the biggest challenges in this statistics course is figuring out what kind of problem you are dealing with when presented with a word problem like this one. However, there are some key words in most problems like this one that will help you decide. We're told that the distribution is normally distributed. This certainly gives us the idea that this problem has something to do with a normal distribution. We also see that we're given a percent namely the top 2%. In an overwhelming majority of cases, problems in which you are given a percent, as in this problem, are percentile problems. But be aware that problems in which quartiles are given are also usually percentile problems. After deciding that this is a percentile problem, the next hurdle to overcome is to decide whether the percent given represents a percent which is to the right or to the left of the number we are asked to find. In this problem, we are told that the candidates must score in the top 2%. Therefore, in this problem, the 2% would be to the right of the score that we are trying to find, and 98% would be to the left of the score we are trying to find. Once the decision has been made as to whether the area or percent is to the left or to the right of the number we are trying to find, then we are ready to get started solving the problem. In a conventional statistics course, this problem would now be solved using the z-score tables. However, in this course, we will be using the TI-83 or 84 graphing calculator. The inverse normal function is what we will use to solve percentile problems. And again, problems in which you are given a percent or a quartile are usually percentile problems. To get to the inverse normal function on the TI-83 or 84 calculator, press the yellow second key, followed by the distribution button, which is immediately above the varies key. Now press the number 3. The inverse normal function should now appear on your home screen. Now input the decimal equivalent of the percent to the left of the number you are trying to find. In this case, 0.98. Now press the comma key, which is immediately above the number 7 key. Input the mean, which is in our case 300. Now a comma. And finally the standard deviation, which is 15 in this problem. You can close the parentheses or not, and finally hit the Enter key. In this problem, we're told to round our answer up to the nearest whole number. So our answer will be 331, because rounding up means that 330 followed by any decimal, even a very small decimal, will round up to the next whole number, namely 331.